time I shine. Let the world know too hot for you. I'm not about to lose. I'm the greatest. As we are live in Atlanta, Georgia, as we're on the road to Survivor Series War Games, welcome everyone live to Monday Night Raw. Change is in the air, but right now, we begin the show with our women's general manager. The women's Raw Channel Manager in Molly, Holly, WWE Hall of Famer. Making her way down the aisle to make this announcement regarding who will be a part of her War Games team at Survivor Series to kick off the show. And then we have a lot of great action for you again. Bianca Belair taking on Liv Morgan along with the World Tag Titles being on the line. We'll have Sami Zayn taking on Drew McIntyre. A lot of action for you here on Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, you know why we're here. We are live on Monday Night Raw. Slow Let down me introduce in Atlanta. to my teammates representing the Raw brand at Survivor Series War Games. First, the women's world champion, Bailey. Not a bad pick, I would say. The women's world champion has been on a roll over the last couple of months defending the women's world championship. The crowd may not like it, but Bailey, a supreme choice if, in my view. Bailey coming off a win at the Great American Bash Premium Live Event exclusive to Raw. A massive win after a great matchup against the EST of WWE in Bianca Belair. A great match for the women's world title, but in the end of the day, there was no high-low, there was no cheap shots in the end. Bailey was able to come out on top. And now Bailey chosen to be a part of Raw's team for War Games. But I wonder who else is going to be a part of War Games along with Bailey and Molly Holly. A supreme choice. What a way to start Raw tonight. Molly, as your women's world champion and as your lieutenant, I will guide my partners to the promised land, to where Oops. I'm always at. I will guide Oops. our team to victory. A lieutenant? Wow. And speaking of which, who are the other two teammates? I'm glad you asked, Bailey. Despite your issues in the past, I would be a fool to not pick her. The EST of the WWE, oh, Bianca Belair. I mean, she's kind of not wrong. Here comes Bianca Belair. I mean, Bill Arrow, no doubt, coming off a loss at the Great American Bash, but as a competitor for War Games, as a teammate, you would want a competitor like the EST on your side, even after coming off of a loss at the Great American Bash. So tonight, we got Bailey, Molly Holly, and now Bianca Belair, all a part of War Games for Team Raw. But who's the last choice? Who's the last partner? Well, hello, Bailey. And Molly, I want to say thank you for this opportunity to be a part of War Games. Now, Bailey, you won't have to worry about me in War Games because it has nothing to do with the Women's World Championship. But after, I will work my way up to get back at you again. Now, ladies, 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 I can promise you that you won't have to worry about upsetting each other. I made a major call and I rehired somebody. What? And it's somebody that will be a difference maker for our team at Survivor Series. Who the hell? Who did she rehire? Oh my god! The unstoppable force! The unstoppable force in Nia Jax! We haven't seen her in years! Years! Wow! Nia Jax!
Jax is back! This is on Team Raw for War Games! How will Team SmackDown compete with this at Survivor Series? Lance Jax face to face with Bianca Belair. Oh my! Well, Bianca Belair will be in action up against Liv Morgan next on Raw. Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. As we're back live on Monday Night Raw, getting ready for one-on-one -on -one action after we just saw a bombshell of an announcement for War Games. Nia Jax and is back! From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! But now we turn our attention to this one-on-one -on -one encounter between two former women's champions going at it, between Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair. A good way to get Beller back in uh, into the thick of things as far as maybe getting back into the winning side of things. Going into Survivor Series War Games up against Team SmackDown. My God, Bianca Belair, Bailey, and Nia Jax along with Molly Holly against Beth Phoenix and her team. Raw vs. SmackDown comes Survivor Series in a best two out of three falls situation. But there we go, matchup against one on one encounter. The other one wins by pinfall submission. Count out or disqualification. Depending on who's on offense and who's on defense. Standing moves up there by Beller, and that goes for a standing. Oh! Splash off the ropes with momentum. Did Beller. Using the ropes for momentum to go for the elevated splash. But Look, Morgan would stance it all, and now Morgan slams it down head first, goes for the cover, a lot of press, hooking the outside leg, but unable to get the win thus far. Sold out capacity crowd, over 13,400 fans here tonight, tuning in to the, the talent that Raw has to offer here in Atlanta, Georgia. In the State Farms Arena. Again, heading towards Survivor Series. Vancouver. Vancouver, BC. In the Rogers Arena. Survivor Series War Games. That's where Bianca Belair will be heading towards, but Liv Morgan would maybe want to have uh, Molly Holly maybe change her mind if she can get the win tonight. Or maybe Liv Morgan needed to go after the championship gold since now Bianca Belair lost at the Great American Bash and Bailey does not have a challenger. And now Belair with an Instagram head kick. They're able to come back after Morgan was on the offense and then a gun wrench power bump. And now Belair, oh! Morgan went high. Able to avoid Belair momentarily, but Liv Morgan with an Instagram able to stun Belair. And now Bianca throwing the right, got her scoop and a slam. Did not go for the pin. But nonetheless, Liv Morgan in a bad predicament as Gorilla pressed by Belair. Displayed and was able to deliver until Morgan able to counter. Just holding up a gold woman and just tossed it. The strength of Belair cannot be denied and in the splash for good measure. Athleticism and strength all being displayed. And a drop kick right to the dome of Bell of Luke Morgan by Bianca. 
Bell the back driver as well, onto the floor. Not to mention a power slam. And Morgan got right back up, almost like she's a masochist. Loving the pain, able to get up to her feet. Was able to counter Bella at that time. But Bella able to send her back in the ring. Highly competitive match between these two. And that time, putting her off, Brent didn't deal with that spear. But Morgan still looking to rebound. Head scissors, able to connect. Give it a momentarily stun, Belair. Kicked in the midsection as well. Double knees! Looking to finish the job. Thinking oblivion! A standing oblivion for Belair by Morgan for the win! Belair powers out of two! Morgan can't believe it. Couldn't withstand. The idea of Bella withstanding her finishing maneuver to standing on Oblivion that has won her championship matches and the championship in the past. Not able to get the job done on the first try here tonight. That's why she's still on the attack, attacking the left knee. Did to give Bella something to think about during the match to then maybe throw off her game to then maybe capitalize. Off the ropes goes Liv. Now Belair on the on the offense perhaps. Big spine buster. Oh my god, not to mention it. Deadlift power bomb. And again? Bianca! A brief! Almost like it's a damn workout for Bella. Now the EST measuring Morgan. Look at the fan! Oh, they're gonna go flying with a crossbody. I was gonna say throw crossing at the at the wind perhaps. It was Belair, but then Liv Morgan able to take it down, but only for Bella to cat to catch her off guard, able to withstand the move and took it down with a lariat. Trying to knock her back with the elbow, but Morgan on the attack, send her back in the ring. To the abdomen, kick to the midsection. Bellar got her hair. Oh! Gut buster. Is that enough? Bellar, cover. And again, Morgan stands. Withstands the move. Withstands the gut buster. Withstands the. Oh, wait. To continue the fight. But wait! Oh! That could be the kiss of death. KOD by Bellar! For the win, Morgan would stand to the kicks on the toe. First the Oblivion, then the KLD. What will it take for either woman to stand down just for tonight? Bill has something to prove, but so does Morgan in a kick at one. We have not seen Morgan in action as much. In the last couple of months! Trying to get back into the winning circle. Up the oblivion! Boom! Oh, almost got her at two! If you're Liv Morgan, what do you gotta do? If you're Bianca, what do you gotta do as well? Again, head spring. Always connects with the head scissors. But Bella on the ropes. Morgan might be setting her up here. Got the leg attacking the left knee again. Bella has something to prove. We're gonna want momentum heading towards Survivor Series. But so does Morgan. She would want a win for her own sake. To say that, hey, I've beaten a former champion. That maybe I should be next to line for the women's world title. Oh wait! Oh! Snake guys out of the corner! At 
to talk to some trash. So able, to, able to dodge the clothesline. Kick. Able to get the elbow. Beller and now got her. Now in the hands of the EST. What does she have in mind? Beller. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. A dragon sweeper off the top. Doing some serious damage. Couldn't hold her up long, but... Couldn't hold her up long, but I was able to do damage. And now Bianca sends her to the corner again. Trying to maintain, trying to weather the storm of Liv Morgan. Goes for the cover now. After the shoulder thrust, then the shot to the spine. is an enough! Oh! Liv at the dig down deep to kick out a two for that one. And now Belair, my God. Like with ease. Deadlift. Gorilla press. Off to Morgan. And that one slip suplex as well. Belair's cooking here. Uh oh, Gorilla Press. Planning Morgan. Oh wait, standing. Moves off the follow. Lateral Press for the win. Oh, and Morgan again. Digging deep to kick out a two for that. And oh, Morgan kicks up. And now Morgan with a close line. And another one. Able to take down Bella with a light sweep. Is that enough to upset Belair here tonight? Oh. Morgan! Caught it with the oblivion! Took the chance! Fired the shot! Morgan upsets Belair! Man! Here is your winner! Uh oh! As Bianca Belair suffers the loss, Nia Jax watching on backstage as Lynn Morgan celebrates her victory. Not a good start for Belair heading towards Survivor Series. Belair going to make her way backstage. Oh. Not a good look for Belair as Nia Jax not liking what she see. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the game, Triple H here. I'm just here to let all of you know that myself and Raw's general manager have come to an agreement to end the NXT brand project. We believe that it's time to leave the NXT brand behind for now and focus on what the fans gravitate towards too, both Roxanne Perez and Braun Breaker. Both stars will no longer be known as the NXT men's and women's champion. Instead, in tonight's main event, it will be Braun Breaker defending his new championship in a triple threat hardcore match against Santos Escobar and the Sandman. As Braun Breaker will introduce the new WWE Hardcore Championship, it's time to shake things up for 2025. A lot of people may be wondering whether I like the change of being the hardcore champion. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. This championship now means that I'm not restricted of inflicting fucking chaos. Tonight, Santos, Sandman, the dogs are barking, and especially in my home of Georgia, I'll be damned if I don't show the world what my version of extreme really is. God damn, what the well, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news, Hardcore Championship is alive and well, and will be defended in our main event tonight, Broad Breaker versus the Sandman versus Santos Escobar. Oh my! But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see how things will fare for the men's participants in the War Games match, as here comes a man who's looking to the rebound himself. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's take it back to last week on Raw after McIntyre had a match with Bronson Reed. Uh, Drew McIntyre wasn't really sportsmanlike after Reed had his hand extended out and McIntyre extended his hand, but in a disrespectful way. Slapping it away and saying, you know what, I don't need that. I'm not really in the mood to be all sportsmanlike in the eyes of McIntyre after that massive match between those two men. Well, let's see how things will favor for McIntyre tonight. Maybe his attitude has changed. Maybe he's had enough sleep. Maybe he's had enough time to reflect on his actions. We, we have not heard from Drew at all. Especially after losing uh, to Roman Reigns for the world title back in Cardiff, Wales at Clash at the Castle. But here comes a man who's looking to make a name for himself. Heading towards War Games! From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Sammy Zayn, a man who's held every championship here in this universe mode, from the television title to the Intercontinental title to the United States Championship to the tag team going with his best friend Kevin Owens earlier this year. One time, once held the World Heavyweight title when he won it at WrestleMania in Florida back in 2K16. And now, Sami Zayn is on a, a road of becoming world champion right now. Zayn, look at the use tonight, not only to give him momentum for war games, but to propel himself further into the world title picture. Here we go, Zayn, McIntyre, one on one. Both men on the same path, wanting to become the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre is still not over his loss at Clash at the Castle. Look at the use tonight as well to propel himself up further. Again, losing to Bronson Reed last week, still undefeated, is Bronson Reed in the one on one competition. As Drew McIntyre in the back spot, the coaching clutch, but again, got out of it easily. And with a simple elbow right to the head of Sami Zayn and now look at this deadlift power bomb my god the strength of one man to do that is crazy just deadlifting about 210 pounds of Sami Zayn and now Iris Swift turn around but did McIntyre back elbow Back elbow connected. Now McIntyre with the rights, able to connect. The ground and pound and a stomp for good measure onto the sternum of Zayn. And now got him up on the shoulder. Obviously McIntyre not looking to do things with bad intentions, but he's looking to do what he has to do to get further to the goal than Zayn. Looking to do what he has to do to kick out of two. Now McIntyre got him, but. Same with the elbows. Run to the abdomen of McIntyre. Sends him. Oh, rebound with a kick. A heel kick by Zayn. The underdog from the underground. The master strategist coming into play here. Close line after close line. Drop kick. Zayn's fired up. He feels it. But can he get the win off of that fury of offense and a shot up for two by McIntyre? Close but no cigar. But this could do it! Blue Thunder! This time hooked him for the pin! Oh, and McIntyre popped up a two. So close. So close, but yet no. Nothing for Zayn. Still got a Oh, trying to go for the Haluma kick. McIntyre able to escape, able to evade that. But Zane cut him with a heel kick that time. Oh. Big elbow there by Drew, thinking, maybe thinking Glasgow kiss, but Zane caught him. Backbreaker. Back, backbreaker there by Zane. Master strategist. Maybe he has something in mind. Maybe he has an idea. And this is 
to the WWE audience here in Atlanta. As McIntyre are going to shut it all down. The LA chance for Zayn, but again, Drew with that suplex. Really being the difference maker. Both men on the outside now. Oh no! Mitsunoku driver onto the floor! And now, oh no! Oh! Climbing his back onto the apron, along with the LED board there as well. Double the pain, double the fun for Zayn, I guess. Going up, what's he thinking? McIntyre to his feet, Hurricane Rana! And take out of hooks! Could he get it off the Hurricane Rana? Oh, and McIntyre kick a two! Again, Dane trying to build momentum, heading towards Survivor Series for Wargate. He's gotten the win in the last couple of weeks. Oh, the back in tire, they're gonna shut it down with a Claymore. Claymore kick. Zane got the shoulder up. Can't believe Zane kicked out a two up the Claymore. That came out of nowhere. McIntyre on the attack again. Not even gonna let Zane breathe here. Off the top, big leg drop. Holy hell. A big leg drop followed with a gut wrench power bomb. But Zane kicked up a Zane got up to his feet and a big kick to the face. How was Shay withstanding this? Oh no! McIntyre got him! McIntyre got him! In a compromise! No! Oh, with a kick at two! Had him in a compromising position, but no! Zayn was able to turn that around. And now Zayn got him up. A oh, brain buster! Jeez! Sheer drop brain buster just planted him! And now sent him in the corner. Hell of a kick! Hell of a kick! Is it enough for the win? McIntyre! Oh my goodness, got up at two! What's Zane thinking? Oh! Bell to Bell, it was not gonna work! McIntyre, the massive McIntyre coming into play! Able to kick out a two to Zane. Both men have suffered. Both kicks to the face for the win, but both with, with standing it all and kicking out at two. McIntyre with the Claymore, Zane with the Haluva kick, and none of that, none of that worked. McIntyre, they're gonna go for it again. At first, you don't succeed, just it off and try again. Hul Haluva kick be dead. Claymore, for the goal, showed up at two by Zane. Oh my god! What an incredible match between Zayn and McIntyre! Out on the knee. Send him into the corner. Shot to the face. Zayn now. Maybe try to set up McIntyre. And oh! Wicked uppercut. And now what's Zayn thinking? Gonna go outside the box, maybe. Up top, swamped on bar. What the? And now Zayn. Oh, sets back and top the world. Caught him up, dark blurry. Turning him inside out. And Zayn. Weathering the storm, stomping out McIntyre. What's Zane thinking here? Setting him into the corner. Hold of a kick! Hold of a kick, Kinnex! Claymore be damned! 
Oh, and the kick gets the win! Sammy Zayn stands Here's tall your tonight! Sammy Zayn! What a matchup! Holy hell! Zayn and McIntyre put on a hell of a match! And then, oh wait. Oh, we got an interesting, interesting development here. Okay. McIntyre might have gotten a, an injury with his leg. Oh, what the? What was that for? What the hell is coming over McIntyre as of late? Coming a sore loser. You know, it's only right that not only our great women's GM in Molly Holly chose her voracious champion, but also she's chosen what's best for the team, which is why I'm willing to be a team player. I'll help guide my teammates in almost any way possible since we're fighting for the pride of the Raw brand. I can help coach them into being what they are deep inside. Champions like me. Wow, that's so thoughtful, Bailey. In fact, I got a great idea. On the next episode, right before War Games, live on Raw, you will help your partner loosen up a bit for Survivor Series, one-on-one -on -one against Nia Jax. Wow, Molly, sure, that's, that's a decent idea. <laughs> oh my God, and Bailey not liking that at all. Bailey and Nia Jax next week. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to join the raid as the War Raiders will seek action as they defend the World Tag Team Championships. The War Raiders, one of the most dominant tag teams in all of WWE, but also in all of Universe Mode. No doubt, one of the most prolific champions ever in Universe Mode. These teams, this duo of Ivar and Eric, along with Valhalla by her side, the War Raiders, once known the Viking Raiders, the War Raiders, once held the tag team gold all the way from the TLC premium live event in 2K19 when they debuted all the way until WrestleMania 2K20 in season six, season 6. That is about 400 plus days ladies and gentlemen. They've defeated almost if not every tag team underneath the sun. But now they're hosting this open challenge. So who come forth? against the War Raiders in this battle. Can you dig it, sucker? What the fuck? What the hell? What the? No! No way! Booker T! Wow! He's in right gear! My god, he's in shape! Retains in action. So wait, who the hell is his you tag partner? I mean, I, I, he's by himself, so I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't see Stevie Ray. I don't see, uh, you know, Harlem Heat. So, so who's Booker with? I mean, I don't know. It, it's Goldust back in the company. I, I, I haven't heard from anything about that. Who the hell is his partner? No freaking way! Rob Van Dam! Mr. Monday Night is in the house here in Atlanta, Georgia! Oh my goodness! Booker T and RVD! Two men have held tag team gold in the past, in the 2000s, but it also here in Universe Small, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere as this tag team match will take place here live on Raw 
And right after this break. Oh my! Two rings, one steel cage. <laughs> Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs. SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs. Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. They're back live on Monday Night Raw for this World Tag Team Championship matchup. Book a team with that sense of powerbomb tagging in RVD. Right as IFR tagged in Eric in this World Tag Team Championship bout. An open challenge made by the War Raiders. Now they're going to, I guess, backfire against the champions as they're taking on a, a prolific tag team like RVD. And Booker T is RVD now with the Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder on the, on the Eric. Hook of the line for the win! Oh, with a shot up at two! The World Tag Team Gold is up for grabs in this tag team matchup. Oh my god! I almost, I almost lost it when Booker T came out. I mean, first of all, he was a general manager of SmackDown for a while. Oh wait! Oh! Rebound suplex off the world. Goes for the cover free at the Viking Raiders best uh, after the after Valhalla was messing around with the top buckle. The referee had to go and fix it, and it came into play. Robin Booker two went for the pin off the suplex. Tag in RVD. RVD up top. Oh, Dicky five star. Eric got out of the way. And now look at this. Oh, into a guillotine. Got him grounded. But RVD able to get get up the hole and able to escape. The last time we saw RVD, I believe, was at ECW's One Night Stand. Or maybe on SmackDown before that or after. Tag made. Here comes Ivar. Going after Booker T after he was looking after Eric. And sends Booker to the outside, the tag team champions in control here. And now Booker back in the front and back in the ring. Back elbow after back elbow. Good grief. Goes for the cover, form in the face. Is it? No. Showed up at one. And now, Ivar got him into the corner. Look the T in the bad spot. I mean, it's not looking good. And now, look, tag made. Uh oh. The War Raiders, bad intentions. Look at the finish the job! That could be the reckoning for Booker T in his return here tonight. Oh, with RVD able to make sure things does not end in the way that the War Raiders would want it. Irish whip. Able to turn that around in Book. Big shot to Ivar. Chop to Eric. Booker. Booker focusing on Ivar. Trying to take the big man down! Back suplex onto the apron. And up back in the ring. Eric was dazed. But now, oh wait. Maybe playing possum. And all saw Valhalla coming into play. Valhalla momentary distraction. But Booker counters. Tag made to RVD. And now, oh wait. Ira Swift, Eric. Able to avoid RVD momentarily just to land the knee.
Able to catch him, and now, big body slam by Van Dam. Goes for the cover off the bit of the body slam. Not enough at two. So close, very close. But you have to understand the will to survive for the War Raiders. It's something that they live by every day. Double Northern Lights! The Time Booker got him down for the pin to win the World Tag Team Titles at all! Again, Eric would stand to the two. Back another tag to RVD. Big Van Dam taunting. That was taunting Ivar. Was taunting Valhalla instead. Valhalla got the eyes of, or the attention of RVD. Look at Eric trying to go off to Booker. Ivar able to take care of Van Dam momentarily. But Booker team back suplex on the Eric. Oh. Look at this. Both teams heading it out. Going at it on the outside, and now the League of Men back in the ring. RVD got him. Got him in position. Queen suplex. And oh, running knee. Double running knee by Eric to retain the gold. RVD kicks out of two. Here comes the big man. Oh, they would have, they would have stunned him with that kick. Caught him with the uppercut. Things are looking very grim for RVD and Booker T right now. As the War Raiders. Not looking to give up here. Not looking to relent. Now look at this, so many mercy! Running knee, and then seated senton. And now Eric looking to, looking to finish the job. Eric looking to go for Death's Row! Death's Row to ret no Booker T! Made the same in time! Van Dam, Van Dam got him! Van Dam got him! Van Dam to win the gold! No! My God, what a vicious clothesline by Eric! And then a tag made to Booker T at the last moment. Kick to the midsection, Booker T! Scissors kick! Can he get it? I'm a focus on Van Dam! Booker T got it! We got new champions! Here are your winners, and the new World Tag Team Champions, the team of Booker T and RVD! We got new World Tag Team Champions! The open challenge of the War Raiders backfired! Booker T and Van Dam realizing the dream one more time! Wow! Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's think back to Raw last week. A very random moment there. A stop sign just flew out of nowhere. And we realized it was The Miz couldn't get the jump on Jey Uso in the parking lot. Maybe The Miz was frustrated that he was not picked for War Games. So the take out its frustration. Climbing it over the star present finale. The Miz. Glenn and Jay, right before his main event match with Roman Reigns later that night, that last week on Raw. But coming up next, Jay Uso has a chance to get payback as he goes one on one with The Miz after this short break. It's Uso versus Miz. We're back live in Atlanta, Georgia. And the man is in the ring, getting ready for one-on-one -on -one action. Oh, wait a minute, make it straight towards the ring. Jey Uso, not playing around. Sending a message. And now look at this. Jey, oh, caught him with a DDT. I guess the bell is rung. 
And Oos with a kick right to the face. Goes for the cover on the bat. Oh, and the kick at one. Miz now. Gonna get back in it. Oh no. Again. Jay. DDT Platinum. Oh, but Miz that time took it down. Miz popped up and took him down that time. Again, we don't know why the Miz really attacked him, but then again, we all know the Miz to be a, a jealous type. Oh! Running kick right in the face and in the corner of him. Oh! And now Jay Uso. Oh! Building momentum. Again, Oos coming off the win up at the Great American Bash Premium Live event. But also, it was Jey Uso that went up against Roman Reigns last week to try his luck. But things didn't work out for, for Jay last week. But tonight, Jey Uso, oh wait, thinking super kick. But Miz went hard with a head scissors. And now look at Oos! They're gonna make it rain with that lariat onto Miz. On the outside, but but now Miz taking it towards Jay. And now they're gonna get back inside the ring. There's too much taunting, but oh. Right when Jay got back in the ring, able to catch him. Oh! Set him off the ropes with that flapjack, and now Miz tacking that left knee. Oh. Could be setting up for the figure four is Miz. He misses a lot of moves in his arsenal. But if he has to, you'll have no problem looking to stop you out like he did there. But Jay Uso, with standing getting stomped. Trying to go for the kick. Couldn't get it that time. Miz busted open right above the eye. But he planched Jay Skull first. Planted him with a driver. But Miz got caught. Jay caught him. What D? Miz showed up a two. Elevated 1D. Couldn't do it. The original will do it itself. The 1D cutter. Got it. Jey Uso gets Vincent here tonight. Here's your winner. Main event. Uso. A big win for Jay, no doubt. But wait a minute. I was gonna say, I don't know if that was enough for Jay Uso. Wait a minute. Oh wait, Jay might the oh! I mean, then again, Miz did call for this. Oh man, well ladies and gentlemen, coming up in our main event, it will be Braun Breaker defending the hardcore title against the Sandman and Santos Escobar in a three-way hardcore matchup. Oh my, later on tonight. You know a lot of people are wondering where's my head's at as of late. And I gotta be honest, I've never felt better. I'm on a three week winning streak, especially after defeating Drew McIntyre tonight. And despite what happened afterwards, I'll deal with that later. I got war games coming up and I'll be damned if I'm on the losing team at Survivor Series. This win for Raw can also mean a big win for myself and what it means to me and my chase after the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, Sami Zayn letting it be known that that win earlier tonight really put him in a good mood, a good spot, not only for war games, but what he really desires, the world title. But here comes a man who's been to the mountaintop seven times. A man who's a former multiple time world champion, a man who will be in a matchup next week on Raw and a mystery opponent will be waiting in the wings. Seth Rollins in the next episode of Raw will be competing in a matchup
Harper in a tune-up matchup for War Games regarding Survivor Series in the next episode. But Seth Rollins here tonight looking to address his spot for War Games at Survivor Series in Vancouver, BC. And I can't wait to see how that's going to go down. Five matches will take place on that very night. Two world titles, a tag team match, and two war games. Two war games matches will all take place come Survivor Series. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Rollins. After winning the triple threat match at the Great American Bash, I had to restore what was tarnished. International title was a good idea, but it didn't felt right. Now with the U.S. title back in the fold, we can now look forward to Survivor Series War Games. Myself, Sami Zayn, and Jay Uso will face SmackDown's team. Two rings, one steel cage. Eight men will do battle until one team survives. Oh wait. Right once the Rollins is about to go further with that. And that is true. Survivor Series all about one cage, two rings, eight competitors duking it out, all for survival, all for supremacy. Because the winning brand of War Games, the winning brand of Survivor Series, will main event. The next premium live event will be, which will be announced at Survivor Series. But right now, Jey Uso making his way out here, especially after what we just saw moments ago against The Miz. Uso getting even, if you will. Attacking The Miz after the match with a steel chair. I mean, honestly, that might be the one time I can say that was honestly rightfully deserved. I mean, The Miz did try to attack him, maybe out of spite, maybe out of jealousy, but that Seth Rollins and that Jey Uso is a part of War Games come Survivor Series in Team Raw. But there comes a man who's also aspiring for gold in Jey Uso. Look Seth, I wanted to come out here to set some things straight. For one, we got history, especially when it comes to championship gold. That is true. Back at the King of the Ring last year, I have proven that I am my own man and that I am done with the bloodline. So, at Survivor Series, I will be focusing on winning that, representing my brand proudly. So whatever issues we may have, I want to settle it right now. Jay, you Listen, so Jay, I've seen what you've done. You've earned a lot of people's respect alone for walking away from the bloodline and dropping Roman Reigns. Yeah, we do have our own history when we fought in the main event of the King of the Ring for the WWE title. And I came out the winner that night. Great matchup, but I will say. I gotta be honest, Jay. That's not the only thing you're out here for. Now, I commend you for trying to settle our differences, but I noticed that you're still chasing after championship gold. Survivor Series or not, that's what you plan on doing. That is true. Well, to be fair, I was gonna challenge you one day, but since you mentioned it, how about it, Seth? You versus me for that United States Championship. You pick the time and place, and I'll beat you there. Jey Uso, challenger for the US title. <laughs> I knew it. Read you like a book. Listen, kid, I'll take you on at any time for this United States title. Now, with that being said, let management handle that. I will say this, I will have your back 100%, but if I feel for one second that you will turn your back on me and on these people, you will never be forgiven and I will drop you every chance I get. I meant what I said regarding Survivor Series. I will have your back as much as I can ask if you have mine. I'll see you at War Games, partner. Both men just letting it be known. With a lot of history, a lot of baggage between these two, letting it be known that they are just two men to accomplish one goal. Get the win, the victory, surviving war games for Team Raw. 
Seth Rollins, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, and Shawn Michaels defending Team Raw for War Games against SmackDown at Survivor Series. Rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada, for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena, where Raw vs. SmackDown will compete in brand warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs. Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. You don't want to miss the next episode of Monday Night Raw, the final Raw before Survivor Series. Champion vs. Champion, Raw vs. SmackDown. The winner will have the advantage for their team for Survivor Series. Cody Rhodes, WWE Champion vs. the World Champion, Roman Reigns next week. Also, in a 2 0 matchup before Survivor Series, it will be Bailey, the Women's World Champion vs. The returning Nia Jax in a tune-up match. Again, they're on the same team, but they'll go one-on-one -on -one in a non-title matchup on Raw next week. In a big matchup, Bronson Reed will go one-on-one -on -one with Sheamus after coming off a win against Drew McIntyre in the last episode. Next episode, Sheamus will meet Reed for the first time ever. Next week, it will be a three-way matchup for the Women's United States title. It will be Selena Vega, Roxanne Perez, and Kyrie Zane will go at it for that Women's US title. Oh my. But coming up next, it will be the hardcore championship on the line. Braun Breaker defends it against Sandman and Santos Escobar. What will come out of this? We'll find out live next. But first, let's hear from the challenger for the world title in good sir. I would like to take this time to acknowledge the soon-to-be former world heavyweight champion, Roman Reigns. Roman, like I said on the last episode of Raw, you're a weak man. Your bloodline, it isn't as strong as your title reign. You may have beaten former rivals, but you've never beaten me. I must admit, I have tasted defeat, and I despise it every time, which is why I have to beat you at Survivor Series. For me to become a world champion in one year after winning the King of the Ring and my first WWE Championship, Roman, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I am your inevitable end come Survivor Series. You're walking into a war that you can't win. Strong words by the challenger for the World Heavyweight Championship come Survivor Series in Gunther. But now, ladies and gentlemen, minimum time in Atlanta, Georgia. As there comes a hardcore icon, ECW legend. The following contest is a triple threat. Falls count anywhere match. And is for the WWE Hardcore Championship. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds. A man who's endured a lot of pain, a lot of carnage throughout his entire career. Multiple time ECW champion. Now they're going to be hardcore champion here in the WWE. We saw Triple H introduce that championship to, Trippy, to uh, Travis Scott at his recent concert. Which then led to tonight, Triple H letting it be official. That the hardcore title is back to change things up, to put away the NXT project that was in the works for the past, I would say, 10, 11 months. Where we try to usher in the younger stars, where we try to give them almost like their own division, their own brand, but in the end, Maybe it's better to have them just be a part of 
a bigger brand known as Monday Night Raw. And that's a championship that can add a little excitement to it as well. The only time the Hardcore Championship will be defended in a Hardcore matchup. Now I've been, I've been able to, been lucky I would say, to provide you guys the news regarding how the Hardcore Championship is going to work. We're not going to do the 24-7 rule like we used to do, but anytime the Hardcore title's on the line, it will be a Hardcore matchup. Or the match stipulation would have to be no disqualification, no matter what. And here comes the champion! A new lease on life! From Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Hardcore Champion, Breaker! A new lease on life! In Braun Breaker is now the hardcore champion. Like he said earlier tonight, looking to inflict chaos no matter what. Not chained, not held down. They're gonna do things his way. The WWE Hardcore Championship. Main event. Tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And then we head towards the next episode and then Survivor Series War Games, Saturday, December 7th. And that's what it's all about. Hardcore title. This will be a triple threat elimination style. But who's walking out as hardcore champion here tonight? As oh, Ron Bricker out the gate, high knee right to the face of the Sandman. And it goes up to Santos Escobar as well. But look at this, Ron the gate. Choose to team up with him and then pace. Him back with the Bulldog. And now, Sandman got him up. Fire with Terry Snake Eyes. And the, the champion takes care of one of his challengers. And now, Braun Breaker on the outside. Now, only taunting. But oh, wait, Sandman going for the cover. That's why Breaker getting back in the ring. But Escobar kicked out just in time. And a truck kick by Breaker. Irish look, oh, and a knee to the face by Sandman. By, or, by Santos, I'm getting my names mixed up. Sandman now in control. Irish whip, out goes flying, goes to Sandman. And then Santos Escobar with the takedown. We're gonna have a one on one session with the champion. And look at that! Lining and Wayne was the Sandman from behind. Takes down Santos. Vicious kicks to the gut to the elbow. And then Brinker sends him over the top. The Sandman talking some smack. Not liking what he's seeing. Not liking the fact that he keeps getting taken out of the equation. Brick instead of by Escobar. He's got the champion in the corner, but not. Oh! Santos Escobar got planted by the Sandman. And now the Sandman attacking the champion. And I'm just driving the boot right to the throat of Breaker. Well, uh, all the rest we can do is watch and make the count or call for the submission. That's all he can do. Weapons are legal in this match as well. 
obviously, hardcore rules. And Breaker trying to go low. But Sandman, they're going to go high. What the? Oh, shut, shut on up the top. Oh, and trying to eliminate Santos. You saw Breaker waiting in the back. Again, elimination rules in this match. But I forgot to mention. Sorry for that. Face first in the corner goes Escobar. Well, hold it. The fact that we saw athleticism like that from the Sandman is insane. Breaker got denied by... Oh, God! I was going to say Breaker got denied by Santos and then, and then the Sandman right there for the picking. And now a white Russian leg sweep with the kendo stick. But Breaker sends him up to the outside but hanging on the apron. What's Breaker thinking? Trying to fly off the top. Couldn't get it. Escobar. Oh. Knee right into the heart of the Sandman. Sandman got Breaker. The champion's in trouble. Setting him up. Oh my God. Pile driver. Breaker would stand to the two. And now Escobar trying to go after the Sandman, but not Breaker going after Santos. Sends him off the... Off the top turnbuckle. Face first. And the Sandman trying to deal with Breaker. But now he got to deal with Santos. Got him! Got him! I think that's a gory special! And Santos couldn't get it there. And Breaker takes down the Sandman. All over the place. This is hardcore match for the hardcore title. Shoulder tackle by Breaker. Oh, well, Escobar's busted open in the eye. That is not good. Especially for the LWO. I'm sure the LWO would love to add gold into their group. But now uh, Santos trying to reel back, trying to get up to his feet. But Sandman taking advantage. Saw him from the outside. Got back in the ring. But oh. Uh, Breaker. Uh oh, Breaker with a chair. Breaker with a chair. But Sandman knocks out of his hands. Sandman knocked out of his hands. Tossed him. Double leg, pounding away is Sandman. And now the champion sends him over the top to the outside. Standing Mozart on the Santos. And now Breaker, uh oh, chopped her down. And then the standing Mozart. The champion got bad intentions. And thinking spear, but Santos countered. Count of the champion with the DDT. The breaker kicks out and oh my god. He just threw the freaking guitar. Oh! Phantom driver under the chair. Oh, but Sandman kicks it too. Standing moves on the Sandman. Escobar right there for the picking. High knee. And Escobar, back turn to the champion. Going after Sandman. Another Phantom Driver. Not going after Breaker. German suplex. But it's Breaker. It's Breaker that takes him down. Thinking power bomb. Oh my god. Ah! Driven right into the mat, and now Breaker got him in the middle of the ring. What's he? Oh no, right on the outside instead. Breaker and Sandman talking some shit from across the ring, and now, uh oh, they're gonna meet each other and stare! 
Booker got him with a spear. Come on, John Cullen. Referee position. Eliminate Sandman, this breaker. And a breaker got Santos. Just for the nick of time, power slam. Right in front of Sandman and Sandman got nowhere to go. Hook of the leg, breaker retains. What a match. Here is your winner. And that was hardcore for the hardcore champion. The dogs are loose here in Atlanta, Georgia. Breaker with a homecoming retains the hardcore title. What a return for that championship. And what a win for the young lad in Braun Breaker. Good night, everybody, as we're on the road for a war game. Let's go!